God. And you know, that this isn't what I'm teaching on, but just as a side note, that's how people came prepared to hear and learn from the Word of God is that they start off just by showing respect. And you know, when we come to church, when we show up to hear the preaching, your heart ought to be in that position of, this is God's word. We respect the word of God. We want to hear what we need. You know, this should be exalted. And we come ready to hear, what more can I learn today from God's word? What more can I just glean from the word of God to be able to apply in my life to, uh, to just know God better, to, to live better, and, and to change my life? We come to church to hear from God's word in order to change. We don't want to come in here and just leave exactly the same. What's the point of hearing all this stuff and reading this book if nothing ever changes in your life? Unless you're Jesus Christ, okay, you're not perfect. Everybody needs areas that you need to improve upon. And, um, and, you know, and, and hopefully you're coming with at least a humble enough attitude to recognize that. Now, not everything that I say may be true out of my own opinion, or out of my own mouth, but that's why I go to a lot of scripture, <laughs> because even if I'm wrong about something, you're, you, hopefully you can walk away learning something just based off of the sheer amount of Bible that we're going to be reading today. Now, obviously, I don't think that I'm wrong about this. Otherwise, I wouldn't be teaching this. And this is a very simple topic anyways. But let's look here. We're going to reread part of Nehemiah chapter eight. Look at verse number five. The Bible says, and Ezra opened the book in the sight of all the people, for he was above all the people. And when he opened it, all the people stood up. And Ezra blessed the Lord, the great God. And all the people answered, amen, amen, with lifting up their hands. And they bowed their heads and worshiped the Lord with their faces to the ground. So you see the humility in their attitude. Verse number seven, and Jeshua and Bani and Sherebiah and Jamin, Akab, Sheb Shabbatai, Hodijah, Maasiah, Kalita, Azariah, Josabad, Hanan, Peliah, and the Levites caused the people to understand the law. And the people stood in their place. So their job here is to cause the people, they're teaching the people to understand God's law. That was their job as leaders within this church, within this congregation that we see in Nehemiah chapter 8. Their job is to cause the people to understand. It's not enough just to read. They have to also provide understanding to God's law. Verse number 8, it says, So they read in the book, in the law of God, distinctly and gave the sense. You know, people want to complain, and you hear this more and more frequently of people who say, I don't need to go to church. I don't need some man to tell me what the Bible says. I could just read the Bible for myself. I could sit at home and pray. I could sing songs at home. I can do all of this stuff at home. What do I need to go to church for? And most of the people like that already have a proud attitude. And they'll say, you know what? I know more than these pastors anyway. I read my Bible. I know this and I know that more. Yeah, you don't even know the basics. You don't even know that God commands you to be in church. You can't even see the qualifications are given for an elder, for a bishop, for a deacon. You people who want to just say, oh, I don't need to go to church. Where's your deacon? At home. Who's the bishop? These are offices, according to scripture, that have qualifications that need to be met before you could even have somebody in that office. Why would God waste his breath on this stuff in the New Testament if you don't really need it anyways? It's nonsense. So we need to be ready to hear and ready to learn and ready to listen. And we see the example being played out perfectly in Nehemiah chapter 8 saying they read in the book of the law. We don't just come together, just read the Bible and then just go home and, and there's no explanation given there's no understanding there's no sense being given to the words no it needs to be given it needs to be applied it needs to be shown okay here's what god's word says and this is what it means in your life and this is exactly what they did verse number eight says so they read in the book of the law of god distinctly and gave the sense and caused them to understand the reading 